Hi guys, today I'd like to introduce you to Canon EF 85mm f1.8 USM. This line has been my favorite since uh, a long time ago. It is uh, my second purchase after I got uh, the kit lens and the camera. So this is a prime lens fixed focal lens 85mm. I like it because uh, it is excellent in the low light, it could go under to 1.8 which is very versatile and then it also has ultrasonic motors which is very blazingly fast, one of the fastest in the uh, Canon EF lens lineup. It also compatible with all Canon cameras including full frame which is excellent if I for example someday uh, doing upgrade. The build construction is also really good even though it's uh, a little plasticky but uh, I use it for uh, quite a long time now and I don't have uh, any kind of uh, problems uh, regarding uh, build quality and also we can use in uh, autofocus or manual focus the, the closest for focusing distance is uh, um, 0.85 meter which is reasonable for telephoto and the application of the lens will be mainly for portraits, especially head and shoulder. It's, it's, um, it is not in the sharpness, evaluating the sharpness and uh, the background blur or bokeh. The lens performs pretty good at uh, 2.8, the uh, center sharpness pretty good, but uh, below that 2.5 to especially 1.8 is a uh, li little bit soft, but uh, but it's actually pretty good if you uh, plan to do some kind of like uh, portraits, especially models or girls that you want to have a soft looks on the, um, and you have a beautiful bokeh in the background. You want to blur everything in the background. This is excellent lens for that. Or if you really face in the low light condition, for example, in dance, photography usually there or theater or other performance and you can always go to uh, 1.8 or 2.2 without uh, any problem and also this is great for uh, some sports for example volleyball it's uh, indoor volleyballs and basketball is ideal for that because it's basically the autofocus really works really well so about the lens hood, um, I bought, there's a two lens hood that uh, uh, I have, first is I bought it from uh, a third party, it's actually generic but uh, it's really flimsy and it's really hard to attach it properly and when you at, uh, at, at last attach it right and then you uh, touch it or whatever it will fall down so I don't really recommend you to buy non-canon uh, non-canon lens hood and then I end up buying the canon lens hood and the lens is not perfect either it's it fits okay but it's rot it's kind of like not really fit in really well but it it uh, comparing to this one is a lot a lot better because what happened it it doesn't if you touch it it doesn't drop so so about the size the size is pretty ideal uh, it's a little bit um, taller than 50 millimeter which is really short but uh, it's very ideal I will show you uh, when it is mounted in Canon for 450D or Canon XSI in uh, America So this is uh, this is how it uh, looks. It's not that uh, it's pretty short and it's pretty ideal if you for walk around or if you use this for a long time, you won't feel tired uh, comparing to telephoto um, lens. But it's it's but the weight is not that uh, heavy, not that uh, light. It's around probably. Three to four hundred, five hundred gram. 
uh, but it's very sturdy. So, and the price is uh, amazing too. The price is uh, very reasonable, around three hundred twenty-five dollar. You can get a f uh, new one, which is a uh, very excellent price in uh, my opinion. So, uh, if you're looking for low light lens uh, plus portrait, and I really recommend you to. Uh, get this one. It's great, really beautiful, soft uh, background, and sh really sharp image. If you stop down a little bit to 2.8 or 4, it's uh, it's really sharp at 4, basically. So, all right. So, I, if you feel that uh, the information uh, that I provide is uh, pretty good and informative, and uh, you can. Uh, look at more information at my other videos or my website radianlight.com. Thank you. Bye-bye